Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve Cap of JUF. So I got some information here I wanted to share with you on the new antenna install, the second CP610. What I want to do this morning is I kind of want to show you what uh, what some of the numbers are doing on the radio. One of the things I do is I, if you look at this meter uh, button down here, if you press this, this will toggle between compressor and and your current and your voltage and that's your transmit power. I like to leave it on SWR because what the SWR is telling me is how much uh, impedance mismatch the radio is seeing uh, and that's important and what I want to show you is on 28400 we've actually got very very good uh, SWR about 1.3, 1.2 my transmit power is at 50 watts and I'm transmitting into the antenna. There's no one on the air this morning it's pretty quiet uh, we'll do a quick frequency check here. But what I want to show you is uh, when I transmit, here's my settings on my uh, microphone M100 with the uh, voice cowling. So I'm going to transmit. What you're going to see is you're going to see what the SWR is doing. And I've got the antenna tuner right now. I've got it turned off because I really don't need it on this particular uh, frequency here. Is the frequency in use. And you can see right there we've got an SWR of about one point. 1.1, 1.2 is the frequency in use. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. So, this frequency here, I don't really need the antenna tuner. But what I want to show you is when I go to 28, uh, 29600 FM, uh, I'm going to need a little help. And I'm going to show you how the antenna tuner will help me. So, I'm going to use my recall stow button. I have these stored in my quick memory bank. Alright, there's FM, whoops, AM, FM. I've got the tuner turned on. Let me turn off the tuner and I'm going to show you what the SWR is without the antenna tuner in the radio. Is the frequency in use. Now you see right there I have an SWR of about 2. And that's about what the uh, MFJ225 was showing yesterday. Is the frequency in use. So... With an SWR of 2, that's fine, I can transmit there, but let me show you what the antenna tuner is going to do for me. I'm going to go ahead and press and hold it. I have it stored in memory already, but I'm going to show you how you would store this particular frequency in memory. You press and hold it. Now the antenna tuner is going to try to match the impedance of the antenna feed line to the radio. So now I've got the antenna tuner turned on. Let's see what it does now is the frequency in use. Now if you notice what happens there, it drops the SWR down to about 1.2 and that's what the tuner is supposed to do. It's supposed to balance your antenna feed line with the radio and that's that's exactly what we want to see right there is the frequency in use. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. So this is where even though I have an SWR of 2.0 the FT991A antenna tuner can can manage that and it does a good job at it. But let me show you what else I kind of figured out. Uh, I have, I've always had problems on uh, 6 meter with this uh, antenna because of the metal roof. So let me show you what's going on here. I can transmit here but the SWR is almost 3. That's high but let me show you how the antenna tuner can deal with that is the frequency in use is the frequency in use so right there the SWR is coming up to about 3.1 maybe to 2.8 but the radio is able to deal with this and let me show you how I'm going to engage the tuner here when I press the tuner and hold it here watch what happens All right, now the antenna tuner is engaged. Let's see what happens now. Is the frequency in use? The SWR is about 1.3, 1.2, which is great. So what what the antenna tuner is doing on the FT991A is it's taking uh, this antenna that I installed, the CP610, and it's adjusting uh, its coils inside. Uh, to match as close as it can to give the radio the impedance that it's looking for, which is 50 ohms. So this is pretty cool. This antenna tuner is working. So I can actually transmit on 
this one here. I don't even need the tuner here in this on this frequency because it's it's perfectly matched. But if I go to FM, I can use the tune. I can use the tuner. Still get the low frequency, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. And that's what we're looking for there, just real, real good performance. And if I go to 6 meter, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. So, I now can use this antenna on, on uh, two, a 10 meter sideband, 10 meter FM, and 6 meter sideband. So, that's pretty cool, and uh, I'll show you one other thing real quick here. Okay, this is my uh, meter here. I have this set to uh, 200 watts, and I have it uh, have it on average power, which gives me ESWR reading. So right now I'm transmitting at 50 watts. So remember, whenever you're using average power, your power is going to be about half of what the PEP power is. So when I transmit here on 10 meter, uh, 28400, notice what the SWR does. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ, CQ. The SWR is flat at 28400. Now I'm going to go to 29.6, which is FM. I've got the in tuner engaged. Watch what happens. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. That's with the in tuner engaged. Now when I turn the tuner off, watch what happens. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. It's about the same because what this is interpreting here is this is the feed line, not, what, not what's going in the radio. So let's go ahead and go to the next one, our 6 meter, 50.125. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Now notice what happens here is the power is a little lower here because what's happening is this is almost at 3 on the radio SWR. So the radio is kicking the power a little bit back. So let me turn off the tuner real quick. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. So again, the power is about the same, but what happens here is, uh, even though I've got the antenna tuner turned on, it's having a tough time working with it, so it is cutting some of the power back. So you see the power doesn't go quite as high as it did on 10 meter uh, sideband, but it works. So overall, this is a... This is a good test data for the antenna and the tuner and uh, having the external uh, SWR meter gives me the true true impedance or what's going on on the feed line and then of course I got the SWR meter built into the 991A that tells me what the radio is seeing. So overall very good test results and uh, I'll have more information uh, coming soon. Thanks again for watching.